I was just about to say how lovely and quiet this area is and then literally a load of dirt bikes drove past. Good morning guys, so we are now in the Peak District and as you saw from our last video, we are back in the UK. We drove to the Peak District last night after seeing our family. We've both been feeling incredibly ill for the last few weeks, so we've not filmed anything. We've just been wiped out, pretty much bed bound. But our exciting new project is about to start and unfortunately, Gingy is not invited. Every I can't get over what a beautiful view it is out of the side door. I know, I'm beautiful aren't I? <laughs> as soon as B steps out of the way. Just walked up this trail and that's where the van is parked. What an amazing view, look at that. So the spot where we stayed is super quiet, very peaceful, really nice. We just bumped into some people who live nearby who said for the Peak District this is one of the quietest areas to go to which is perfect <laughs> because we didn't realise when we planned it that we are going to be here on a weekend so it's always nice to be somewhere quiet away from the crowds. And the location where we chose to stay was just a random one that we picked out from Park for Night because we get a lot of people asking us where do you guys find places to stay for free and that's one of the places. Otherwise we use good old Google Maps have a look at an area see where it looks nice and just go and check it out really but where we are is beautiful so I think we're gonna go for a nice walk So we've just pulled into a car park because we've been driving around for about an hour and a half trying to find somewhere nice and secluded but it's bank holiday and the Peak District doesn't seem to have loads of places that are just really wild. So the place that we found last night was really good because it was out the way but we're struggling to find any more locations like that. So we just pulled it into the car park, we're going to have some lunch and then we're going to go for a walk. Also, is it just me who finds the tiniest buildings like this one and wants to figure out a way of living in it? It's so cute, little stone building. Could make a cute little one bedroom mezzanine property. And parking wise, I've literally parked us directly in a bush. <laughs> We're blending in nicely. I'm just frying up some massive sausages. They're corn bratwursts apparently. And I'm gonna have mine in a salad and Theo's gonna have his in a wrap because he can eat wheat, unlike me. But these look and smell very tasty. What do you think, Theo? I'm so ready. <laughs> I need to eat. Look at my eyes. They are hungry eyes. Hungry eyes. I didn't know eyes could look hungry. <laughs> What do you guys know about peanut butter? Because we have a whole kilo here. This is such a good snack for van life. We're having apple with peanut butter right now and it will keep us going until our lunch is ready. I picked up these gigantic flatbread wraps whilst we were in, well, whilst we were driving through France and they are brilliant. So Theo can have one of these, check out how big it is. It's massive, it's like, like the salt, it's like bigger than my face. Like <laughs> how big that is. And for anyone who's interested, I thought for my salad, I would put a nice, I'd create a nice lemon and tahini. I've got hardly any tahini left, but it's so good. So a lemon and tahini dressing. Let me show you how simple it is. I didn't realise how little tahini I had left, so I actually made it up in here. I just mixed some water, a bit of olive oil because the sesame oil had separated. Paprika. That's what you can see at the top and lemon juice, mixed it up and voila, tastes delish. And actually, because it's in the jar, I can, if there's any even left, put that 
to one side, keep it for later. And Theo's just seeing in the front because in the front, in the front, because he's always ready. <laughs> so good. I'm ready to go. I'm looking forward to this walk though. Yeah. Should be good. Quick little 5k. Oh my voice. <laughs> 5k! But yeah, nice little 5k. There's like a forest area, so go check it out. Look at this creep trying to get in. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, there you go. Thank you very much. See you later, have a nice walk. <laughs> I've got to wear my sandals because, I don't know if you can even tell, but my foot's really swollen. I've been bitten by something. Normally there's definition, in fact, you know what? Apologies for the bad toenails, whatever. But you can see, I can't put a shoe on, so I'm wearing sandals. I Theo's also leave. doing it in solidarity. Are you wearing socks and sandals? No, I'm going to put trainers on. Oh, you're putting on. shoes on? I just on. can't believe that you showed your feet. I know, the they look horrifying. You said on one of the podcasts that I had terrible feet and now everyone's witnessed your gnarly feet. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> Get your socks off now. I'm not getting Come on, let's off. have a foot off. <laughs> Come on. No. He's not doing the socks. and Well, I haven't got socks on because that's geeky, but... <laughs> He's not putting the sandals on. Geeky. Yeah, geeky. That's literally my trademark. Yeah, you're a geek. Right, let's go. <laughs> See you later, beautiful van. We'll be back very, very soon. Stay where you are. For anyone who is interested, this is where we are at a nature reserve, Hartington Meadows, Derbyshire Wildlife Trust. And looks like it should be a really nice little walk. So literally, the moment we step out of the van, it starts spitting with rain, so... <laughs> I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Fingers crossed, we won't get absolutely soaked. It's really good actually, this walk, because they even provide somewhere to drink along the way, so you don't have to bring a water bottle. B is gonna demonstrate. <laughs> I bet that would taste a bit uh, interesting. It smells lovely. Oh, all star plane. So I'm just gearing up, getting ready, because we've got quite a long drive ahead of us, which means it's time to listen to our audiobook, which we've been listening to for the past couple of days now. It's by Arsa Larson, and it's called The Second Deadly Sin, and we've been listening to it on Audible. It's fantastic. I'm in love with the Swedish crime thriller genre at the moment, and it gets me super excited because it's set in areas of Sweden that we've been to, like where the Kungsleden is, and I'm so excited to go back up to Scandinavia. We're going to be listening to an awful lot of audiobooks on the drive up there definitely it's a really long journey and I'd like to say a big thank you to Audible who have actually sponsored today's video so if you don't know what Audible is it's basically a massive online platform where you can listen to so many different audiobooks about loads of different genres not just Swedish crime thriller it's definitely worth checking out and our viewers today go to audible.com slash indie projects or text indie projects to 500 500 and you can download one free audiobook, two free Audible originals and have a 30 day exclusive free trial to Audible. So check that out, the link will be in the description. It's well worth it and it really helps us pass the miles away. It's always nice to stop at the end of driving knowing that you're going to be staying the night wherever you've pulled up and we're in quite a nice remote location it's windy here but we've got phone signal which is good because we've got some work that we need to do tonight so we need an internet connection and we're absolutely famished so we're gonna have veggie pies for dinner absolutely love having an oven it means we can cook exciting things like pies as sad as I am a good oven gets me really really excited with van life <laughs> So excuse the rather empty looking fridge here. I've got these are delish, gluten free, 
goat cheese pie yummy so that can go in the oven and then because Theo's not a celiac he can have a normal one what flavour did I get him? Porcini mushroom and spinach pie decadent oh look good and anything like this needs gravy this is gluten free gravy look what happened to my plate it fell and broke so i need some new plates but oh yep yeah, there we go let's just throw gravy all over the side Do you know how hard it's filming look at those and doing this at the same time oh my gosh i was gonna do beans and then i realized beans would be weird with gravy that's perfect wow and you might notice a lack of vegetables it's because i forgot to buy any the weather's turned it's very windy and it's started to rain but here we are on our own oh look theo's got the window open hello Let me show you the view. It's beautiful. It's so quiet here. I can hear sheep barring in the background. And yeah, so it's just a great big gravelly random car park off the side of this small road that we were driving down. We just found it on a map. I had a look on Google Maps to see if there was any quiet, well, how can you tell on a map whether something's quiet? But I had a look on Google Maps to see if there was any locations. It's windy, I'm gonna finish this inside. So as I was saying before it got mega windy, found this spot just by looking on the map. Satellite view is fantastic for just being able to find little park ups and places off the beaten track. So Peak District has been great. Actually really enjoyed ourselves here and tomorrow we're gonna be heading, <coughs> I'm gonna have a, just hack up a lung. Tomorrow we're gonna be heading towards Birmingham to see some family over there and before i sign off i thought i'd just show you guys what an evening in the indie projects van looks like <laughs> theo working on the laptop with our sleeping bags we use them as like a bolster i suppose the word would be like you can lean against them they're a nice pillow super comfortable yes keeping hydrated with a giant bowl of water <laughs> And then I've just been sitting on the sofa, relaxing, enjoying the view of the outdoors through the window. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise. Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.